Recently on the first day of May, highbrow tasty treats were lining the hallways of the Oak Bay Beach Hotel. I couldn't resist dropping in to find out what all the fine art fuss was about. This, my friends, is what a launch event looks like, where finger food works to wet the palate, so to speak, for a hand-picked selection of local artists and art lovers, smearing the excitement over what is to be a spring and summer long showcase. Art to Show 2013 is making a full-scale brushstroke across Greater Victoria. Retired teacher and jewellery maker Barbara Adams, along with retired real estate agent Kerry Liggins, teamed up to create the free event three years ago, all along with the idea to make local art more accessible to the public. Yeah, put it right in their face. <laughs> 50 rotating artists will be both displaying their work and doing their work Wednesday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the lobbies of seven different hotels. Now, it would take me a while to profile all 50 artists, so to keep things contained, let's look at three that you could find right here at the Oak Bay Beach Hotel. Kicking things off for the month of May, the work of Kenna Fair. My family goes back five generations on the coast here, and uh, so the coastal images, coastal wildlife. I see the coastal images not only inspire me because of their beauty, but I think they're excellent metaphors for who we are as people that live here on the coast. I'm going to be right here in Oak Bay Beach Hotel. All right, and when can people catch you? August. I had no idea I was going to meet a dry pigment painter today. This is Nancy Slad. I'll be working on a couple of paintings. I'll have my materials. Um, anyone who's really interested in the public to get their hands in something to try it. And hopefully there'll be some interest in purchase. <laughs> that, that might be all right too. It's easy for us to create things, but in terms of us actually getting our work out there and showing it, you know, the, the opportunities sometimes are slim. So this is this is amazing. And closing out the show in October, one of my Irish favourites. Well, I'll tell you a couple of things. The former frontman of the Irish Rovers, who's also a painter, Will Miller. I've always been a doodler and an artist. Yes, and. Um, my mother says, when are you going to get a real job? But you know what? It turned out all right. Because you saw some of the work. I paint nostalgia. I'm getting old now. So I paint memories of Ireland longer. I just, can I tell you a quickie joke? Yeah. The gallery phoned up the artist and said, I got good news and bad news. The artist says, what is it? He says, the good news is a guy phoned here this morning saying, will you be famous after you die? And I told him he would. So he bought all your work. So what's the bad news? He says, it was your doctor. Oh. <laughs> And on Sundays, starting at the end of June through until the beginning of September, what the industry folks call a plein air event will bring even more colour to the rich green lawns at the foot of the Empress Hotel. Plein air means painting outside. So, uh, it, but it's basically artists in action because we have sculptors and uh, as well as uh, painters and drawers and uh, so and potters. A full schedule for Artist Show 2013 is available at artistshowvictoria.ca. From Oak Bay, I'm James Green.